Guys, welcome back. We're here in the new kitchen just in time for Thanksgiving. I've got a ton of recipes that I've already put out. The turkey, the soup, the stuffings, all the classics. So this year I'm mixing it up. We're gonna do some fun things. Today, we're making pumpkin risotto. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All right guys, for pumpkin risotto, we got the, the basics, the essentials. I have some shallots, I have some butter. This is where we're gonna get all our flavor. We're using pumpkin puree. Now, I would also recommend using a real pumpkin. For some reason, I couldn't find one to three stores. They're all out of pumpkin. So I have a backup. We have a squash, very similar, same family. It's gonna do what we need for this recipe. To add a little bit more pumpkin flavor, I'm using some pumpkin spice. Now, if you can't find this, it's pretty easy to make yourself. It's just nutmeg, a little bit of allspice, some maple in there. You can just get away with probably using a little bit of nutmeg. We're adding just a pinch of this to really bring home that pumpkin flavor. We're gonna get started over here on the pan. Now, with risotto, you need a good chicken stock too, and you're gonna need some white wine. So this chicken stock, whenever you're making risotto, you wanna get your stock boiling, 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 because we're just gonna add that in, and that's gonna help cook that rice down. With the stock, though, we're gonna add a little bit of a different twist here. This is where the pumpkin puree comes in. This is gonna go directly into our stock. And it's about, I don't know, I'm gonna say a cup of that, and we're using four to five cups of chicken stock. We'll see how much, and also you can use vegetable stock if you want. If you wanna make this completely vegetarian, go for it. I just made this chicken stock yesterday. It's fresh, it's delicious, and that'll go right back on the heat. Look at that color though, that is beautiful right there. That's fall, that's pumpkin, that's the flavor of Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Okay, so now, risotto, we gotta talk about one thing is the rice. You gotta use arborio rice, risotto rice, and unlike other, you know, every time you cook rice, everyone's like, wash it, wash it, wash it with risotto. You don't wanna wash that starch off because what's gonna happen is as it cooks, that's what's gonna give you that thickness, that body of a good risotto. To start off, we're gonna go into a pan with some butter, two tablespoons of butter in that pan. The whole, whole process for a risotto, you're gonna stay on medium heat. People get intimidated when they hear risotto, they think, oh, it's fancy, it's super hard. It's really not that bad. It's something you can do while you're cooking other things for Thanksgiving. So all right, you're getting things roasted in the oven. All right, stir my risotto. Oh, you're doing, uh, you're chopping some vegetables. All right, go back, ladle in, stir my risotto. So you can multitask while you're cooking this. That's what I like about this dish. I just have a little bit of that squash that I chopped up earlier this morning and I just roasted. So we're gonna stir this in a little bit of fresh squash, but I'm also gonna do one other thing. I'm gonna get these off to the side and that's great color on there. So here's what I'm thinking, a fun plating idea. This is completely optional. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a squash. I should have had my knife out, but I didn't. You can use mini pumpkins too. If you can find those little tiny pumpkins, this is gonna work perfect. We're gonna make a little bit of a bowl out of it. Hawk the bottom off so you have a nice flat surface. Cut it in half. Knock those seeds out. Oh, there's a hole in my bowl. It's all right, we're gonna put it on a plate. Just gonna hit these with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. This goes in the oven about 400 degrees, maybe 20 minutes, just wanna soften it up. And then we're gonna get it to a point where you can actually scoop the edges into your risotto if you'd like. Let's get onto the risotto. So I have butter that's gone in and now I'm gonna throw in some shallots. That's your base for any standard risotto. You're gonna have butter and shallots to start out with. And we're just gonna cook this down until it's translucent. You want that just to sweat down. You don't, you don't wanna get any color. You're not looking to caramelize these shallots at all. You just want them to sweat. So nice medium heat, three, four minutes. Okay, we're gonna hit this with a little bit of fresh thyme. Now, whenever you're thinking holidays, fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you name it, you want those deep flavors of rosemary, thyme, sage, brown butter, that's gonna be key. That, those are the real flavors that come through. So a little bit of fresh thyme goes in there, and then we're gonna hit this with all of our rice that goes in. See how that those onions, or the, see how those shallots turn translucent? That's what you're looking for. Now we go in with our rice. And this is gonna toast for a little bit. You want this to kind of get a little bit of color on it, get friendly with that butter, with that thyme, the seasonings. Now we're gonna go in with about a cup of white wine. You wanna use a dry white, you don't want anything sweet. We're gonna cook all that wine off, so keep stirring. Once that wine is completely evaporated, we can start the process of just finishing off our risotto. So you're gonna go in ladle by ladle. We're gonna get that stock and pumpkin mixture. Once it's all completely stirred in, that's when you add the next one. And you know what? I'm gonna throw in a little bit of that pumpkin spice right now just to get that toasted in. It doesn't need much, but instantly you smell that. As soon as that hits the pan, it just smells like fall. It's, it's, it's what you need in this dish. It's gonna take it to the next level. It's slight though, it's not heavy. You don't want, it's not a latte. You're not making a pumpkin spice latte here, guys. It's tiny, it's a little bit. So now that's all been absorbed, we go in with the next one. And you keep this process going. That's why it's nice to have hot stock, because that hot stock is gonna cook the rice as it gets ladled in. All right, the risotto is done. A good way to check for your risotto, if you wanna see, they call it the wave test. If you can shake it, I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna make a mess, because this thing isn't, the handle's not long enough. There you go, there's the wave. This burned my fucking hand. And you can also just taste it. There you go. You want that rice to be cooked through. You want crunchy rice, nice al dente rice. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this right here. Remember that roasted squash or pumpkin if you have pumpkin, that works too. 
We're gonna take a few pieces of that, just chop it up. It's still warm, and then the risotto is nice and hot, so it's gonna just warm it through. If you like a lot of the kind of chunky squash pieces, go do a bunch. If you don't want any, you can stop right here. You'll have a good risotto. The things to remember too is salting it. Risotto ends with about a half cup of Parmesan cheese, so I'm gonna wait to salt it till after the cheese. Why? Parmesan cheese is salty, and you know what? It's the holidays. Don't worry about your health right now. It's not the time. We're gonna a little bit of butter. We're a little. It's a little bit of butter. It's Thanksgiving, guys. Come on. That's it. A tablespoon of butter. Where do I keep putting my spoon? Stir that all in. Look at that decadent, rich. Oh my God, guys, this is gonna be good. And you know what? I just thought of something. Just thought of an idea. Corey's gonna go, what? There's more? I gotta leave. I, I got other things to film. We're doing one more thing. We're gonna fry up some sage for a garnish. Olive oil in a pan. Sage leaves, look at this. Sage has so many purposes. You go into a spooky new house, get that sage, light it up, do this, do this, do this. I like to cook with it, but if you wanna get the devil away, hey, it might work. Crispy fried sage, strain that on a towel. All right, we're going for a little taste here. That is phenomenal texture. We're going to go with salt and pepper. And also, you got to be careful when you're salting too. See if your chicken stock has salt in it. If you buy a store bought, it might already be salted. So that is a factor too. Mine wasn't salted, so all the salt can come in now at the end. Look at that color. All optional. Doesn't not necessary, but look at that. See that? See what that does? See it brings that to life a little bit. And I finish with a little bit more cheese on top, just a touch. And then that fried sage, bam, bam. And ladies and gentlemen, there you are, a pumpkin risotto. It's not as intimidating as you think. People go, risotto so hard. It ain't, it's not that hard, guys. You stand over it, you stir it, and you enjoy. Guys, we'll be here for a lot more Thanksgiving videos. I'll see you in the next one, peace. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah.